Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome back to our little computer chess world, welcome back to our commented chess games played by computer series. So in this series we're following some great games that are played on this great chess website. We have this TCEC chess website, we have also uh, the CCRL chess website, we have also the chess.com uh, computer chess championship website where all of these uh, top engines are competing. All of these links to this great uh, website will be in the description below so you can also maybe check out some other games and maybe analyze them uh, for yourself at home so today we're analyzing a brilliant gameplay by stockfish against another top engine ruby chess in the nimzo indian defense in the so-called kmoch variation and you have requested uh, several times on my youtube chess channel that you wanted to see more of the nimzo indian because you're yourself maybe you are playing the nimzo and uh, maybe you have also trouble to play against the nimzo indian defense so that's why i decided to show you more and more of this healthy openings because recently we have also covered some great Rui lopez games and uh, when we analyze more and more of this top engine games i think we'll have then a great database and we have then a great preparation in particular openings but also in sidelines of particular openings so today as said the kmoch variation of the nimzo the kmoch variation is actually one of the most sharpest really the sharpest way to play the nimzo in the defense i've seen recently a great game played by alireza firuja in the kmoch variation because alireza is a sharp attacker he likes always to uh, complicate things and this will be a very very complicated game in which stockfish 14 will stay really stuck with the king in the center ruby chess on the other hand will try to attack the uh, unsecured king but what stockfish gained here is a powerful pawn central control so it was a battle between pawn central control and king security i think it was a brilliant brilliant game so let's check out now what happened d4 here played by stockfish we have knight to f6 by ruby chess c4 uh, we have uh, e6 after knight to c3 and bishop to b4 we have the nimzo indian on the board and okay uh, the main idea of the nimzo is of course bishop takes c3 b takes c3 to mess up the pawn structure on the queen side and then uh, maybe in the long term uh here also to attack the weak c3 c4 pawn in a continuation you can play now several ways so you can play the classical system with uh, here uh with the move uh, e uh, queen to c2 we can go into the same -ish, uh, stuff with the move e3 you can also go queen to b3 a3 is a possibility here in the continuation stockfish play the move f3 which is now the so-called kmoch variation what we want to gain is a powerful pawn center control like in maybe if you're familiar with the same -ish attack against the king's indian where we're building this f3 e4 d4 c4 setup then we have a great uh, uh, space advantage in the center of the board what black could actually do here is maybe to play bishop takes c3 but in my opinion uh, this early bishop takes c3 when the bishop is not challenged with some a3 moves it's not so good here for black uh, you can maybe here take of course after b takes c3 then black will probably play the move d5 because here's not allowing you uh, to play maybe the e4 to get your space advantage in the center of the board but actually e4 is even a possibility here because after d takes e4 this wasn't played in the game but uh, we want to always of course to check out a little bit uh, chess theory here after d takes e4 uh, f takes e4 knight to e4 then queen to g4 is very dangerous you have to then retreat with your knight and then uh white can also capture here the pawn on g7 and i think in this types of position where the pawn structure is asymmetrical when the pawn structure is really uncleared the bishops are perfectly fine here it's not a solid uh position for black i think the position can explode so that's why the bishops are much much better here if the position would be closed somehow if the pawn structure would be blocked out somehow then the knights will be perfectly fine here but now in this position the game is i think dynamic enough for the bishop pair here for for white so that's why uh black should not go into this line so as said maybe after bishop to c3 and b takes c3 okay after d5 uh, um, and e4 black can also play some different ideas but as i said in my opinion white can have a decent uh, decent uh, continuation in the early stage of the game so even if you try here something like knight to h5 uh, to maybe play this dangerous queen to h4 because with the move f3 you have weakened a little bit the pawn structure in front of the king then simple knight to h3 solves all of your positional problems uh the main issue is of course that the f4 pawn is taken it's uh, very well protected but because uh also black's idea could be maybe to occupy the f4 score but now this uh, idea queen to h4 is not working anymore because we can play simply here um knight to uh, knight to f2 or even g3 is now uh of course a possibility because everything would be perfectly fine so these are maybe the tiny little th tricks that black can play in an early stage of the 
the game after move f3 uh white is announcing immediately this move e4 so here c5 uh played by um uh, ruby chess we have now d5 now uh, the pawn structure uh, in the center changes into into the benoni pawn structure because in uh, one particular move black will play the move d6 and then with d6 c5 we would reach actually the benoni structure although it's not the benoni because in the benoni uh, systems uh, black is playing of course g6 bishop to g7 uh, the bishop is on this diagonal not on this diagonal it's a different uh, different way to develop the dark square bishop but it's similar because uh, when the pawn structure is similar uh, then of course we have also similar tactical and strategical possibilities for both sides so after move d5 obviously white is also uh, trying the e4 move and then will reach this very important space advantage against this d6 c5 uh, pawn structure of of black so here in the continuation we have now castling uh, here e4 we have now b5 b5 is actually the best way uh, to play against the kmok variation against this kmok preparation of white uh, here b5 is a very very brilliant move i think uh, that many top grand masters are playing now these days after move b5 you don't want to take because uh, then you're losing your space advantage in the center and uh, black is breaking your pawn chain that's the main issue here after something like e takes d5 okay you can play maybe e takes d5 you still have your pawn but uh, now the e file is open with the move rook to e8 you have to escape your with your king to f2 and i think from this point on black has a pleasant game because i think we can play now normal stuff d6 knight to d7 knight to e5 uh, then maybe even knight to h5 queen to f6 queen to g5 as long term so of course not immediately because the square is taken but uh, black pieces i think will sneak in and uh, then the king on f2 would be very endangered because it's not on a natural square in the continuation also the bishop could come on a very active score on b7 so i think the activity that black gains with this gambit line is very very cool because although uh, white is here a three versus one situation on the queen side it doesn't bring you so much because still this knight is a little bit endangered and as i said i think black has from this point on a pleasant game for instance this uh, top engines are showing already a plus one evaluation for black although down the whole pawn so that's why you see you'll never see i think um, um, that this pawn will take uh, will be taken by white c takes b5 is really a bad move here because as we said you're losing simply your grip here in the center of the board you're simply losing your important space advantage in the center of the board so after move uh, uh, b5 here e5 was played by uh, by Stockfish and that's actually a line that Alreza as I said uh, likes to play now these days Alreza played some brilliant games in this particular line it's really one of the wildest lines okay white will gain now two connected pawns in the center but in this particular scenario white will stay also with the king in the center and that's now the main issue as I said in the beginning of the video it's now a space advantage against the king security problem here uh, here after move e5 okay black has to retreat knight to e8 we have now f4 uh, here stockfish supports this uh, e5 pawn and also this d5 is supported by the c4 pawn in the continuation we have now d6 so black has to break now the space advantages now knight to f3 everything is pretty much forced and after d takes e5 okay f takes e5 we have e takes d5 and after c takes d5 okay you have your fun you have now your uh, pawn center control these pawns are very very annoying to handle but you will now stay with the king in the center because here after move c4 because uh, the b5 was uh, unprotected uh, that's why here bishop to e2 but now after queen to b6 this is now a huge positional problem for white because white cannot castle anymore so you see the e3 uh, square is taken you cannot play bishop to e3 in order to compete somehow uh if you move the rook then again you cannot castle anymore so as i said white has some uh, advantages which are of course these two connected pawns in the center but the main disadvantage is i think that you cannot castle anymore because even if you try i think some let's see bishop to f4 maybe queen to c2 then queen side castle even if you try that then i think with a5 then maybe even b5 uh, b4 a4 and similar stuff uh black will punish you here with this three versus two point majority on the queen side so castling queen side is also not a possibility for for white so white has now to find different ways how to escape with this king and let's see now how stockfish handle this king in the center position because it was really, really brilliant what stockfish did now in the continuation of the game so bishop to d2 first of all uh, normal stuff developing all of the minor pieces bishop to b7 we have now b3 
kick away this uh, space advantage that black has also built here on the queen side because we can't tolerate we cannot really tolerate uh here this advanced pawn on c4 uh here in the continuation we have c takes b3 if we try now bishop takes c3 it's not so good bishop takes c3 and b4 is uh, simply not a possibility because bishop to d4 then you have to again escape and uh and then afterwards of course b takes c4 is a huge opportunity for white and white will again connect three pawns down the center it's simply uh, strategically game over here for for black so after move b3 black has to react c takes b3 we have queen to b3 and now knight to a6 and now rook to d1 here stockfish has to play this move because stockfish has to protect the center if the center uh, gets somehow broken here if uh, if it gets if uh, the position explodes in the center if some files maybe the d file or the e file are open then uh white is tactically dead i think so that's why you have to protect now your center although the king is still stuck the, on the square e1 uh, but so far stockfish has to play simply uh, the game like this so let's see now uh, possible continuations here for for white instead of this rook to d1 because if we play bishop to b5 it seemed to me in the beginning that this could be a good move actually it's a huge huge positional mistake you cannot play the game like this you have to really develop all of your pieces into the game because after move bishop to b5 you get simply knight to c7 then you have to retreat but now knight to c5 and you see now black is getting more and more of this tempi uh, you have to move the queen and uh, black is simply developing further the pieces rook to d8 rook to e8 then will uh, simply get a huge huge piece activity and i think uh, here white is going to get crushed uh, when it comes to tactics so uh even if you try knight to b5 to take out this pawn i think white should never be greedy about pawns here after move knight to b5 rook to d8 is here a great possibility and now after something like bishop to b4 actually black can uh really play the game like this can sacrifice even the piece because after bishop to d5 you have to escape with your queen after knight takes b4 queen to b4 we can play now bishop to f3 uh taking another piece after g takes f3 or bishop to f3 now a6 and uh now black has the opportunity to recapture the piece will take out the knight on b5 but again i'm pointing out the main issue is this king in the center position now in the next couple of moves knight to c7 knight to e6 knight to f4 will happen queen to e3 and similar stuff and again i think white is tactically dead so again the stock for engine at home gives here already the plus one evaluation for for black so this is nothing not something that you should do as i said here you see stockfish can never really take out this pawn on b5 so that's why uh, stockfish played now the correct move rook to d1 regrouping first is now the most important thing because as we said the king is simply uh, now too long in the center so here knight from e to c7 uh, was played by ruby we have d6 knight to e6 very nice square now also for ruby and now here knight to d5 what stockfish is trying to do of course is to play knight to d5 and then bishop to e3 kicking away the queen and finally castling if stockfish manages to do that and then of course stockfish has a great game with his two advanced pawns in the center this could be then a perfect perfect position but uh so far after move knight to d5 bishop to d5 queen to d5 and now bishop to d2 uh queen takes d2 and see now still stockfish cannot castle because uh this queen on b6 is paralyzing now the whole king side so here after move queen to d2 rook from a to c8 rook to b1 and now b4 if you take now the bishop to a6 it's not so good queen to a6 you can maybe take out this one but now with rook to c6 and rook from uh, f to c8 you see again uh, black is building a very powerful block so you cannot really uh, play something like queen to e2 because then you get rook to c1 so you cannot even compete on this uh, long diagonal so that's why uh, after move uh, b4 here in the continuation h4 was played by stockfish i really like the move because you see now the importance of this move stockfish is trying now to play knight to g5 is trying also to liberate somehow uh, the h file because it's almost like stockfish is saying okay i cannot castle anymore in this position but at least what i can do is attack your opponent uh, our opponent's castle king here so that's why h4 i think now was a huge huge decision uh, because you have to play you have to find some kind of a counterplay because if the king is uh, not 
in danger, if Black's king is not in danger, then of course Black will simply regroup, Black will play different ideas, Black will simply uh, attack the white king in the center further, so uh, Black will find ways to uh, to find some good good attacking opportunities. So here after move h4, we have now h5, at least now the pawn structure in front of Black's king is also a little bit weakened. We have now king to f1, we have rook to c5, and now rook to h3, queen to c6, rook to d1, and now after queen to a4, now finally queen to d3 with reparations to finally play the move knight to g5. Here in the continuation we have rook to a5, knight to g5, uh, knight, takes F, uh, knight takes g5, h takes, h takes g5 and now knight to c5 attacking the queen, queen to b1. The problem is now again you cannot take this one then you lose this one and uh, this would be I think now a huge problem. The h5 now is weak also then we can play even something like uh queen to h4 queen takes h5 even if you try something like g6 then bishop takes h5 queen to h5 and then to deliver checkmate here um on the h file is now also a nice tactical threat so that's why here after move queen to b1 we have now knight to e6 and now g6 very tricky move here by stockfish after f takes g6 uh, the f file gets open but finally rook to f3 very very nice uh, defensive ideas here by stockfish because after uh, rook takes f3 g takes f3 and what we can notice now the only way now to deliver a checkmate here in this position is on this square h3 and it's a long run i think uh, no good checks are possible here for for black so as i said even if you manage to bring your queen somehow to h3 it just one check uh and as i said you need i don't i don't know maybe three four five moves just to deliver one check here stockfish found a great defensive setup although stockfish never castled in this position uh here i think it's a decent way to defend the king now what we can notice uh, is of course that stockfish has now these two connected pawns especially this pawn on d6 is really annoying one because it can be of course promoted here on d8 and in one particular moment in my opinion black is even forced to give up the knight for a pawn so that's why so far great great defensive play by by the fish so queen to d7 uh ruby chess is playing now on this blockade we have queen to e4 king to h7 bishop to c4 rook to c5 here bishop to e6 would be too early if you think about this move it's simply a little bit too early because after queen to e6 and now d7 then you get this perpetual checks as i said uh, then uh, after something like king to g1 we can play another check and uh, i think this should be a uh, theoretical draw but uh, here after move uh, rook to c5 first bishop to b3 now a5 first stockfish improves a little bit the position of the king we have now king to g2 and now after move a4 now it was simply time to play bishop to e6 queen to e6 and now d7 now this check is not working on h3 very very nice uh strategical play here by the fish after move d7 rook to e5 we have now uh, rook take uh, queen takes uh, e5 uh, queen takes e5 and now a new promotion it's obviously now a completely completely winning endgame here for white we have now a couple of checks here by ruby chess but no perpetuals are possible here stockfish found some great ways how to escape king to f2 we have now the queen to a2 rook to d2 uh, queen to c4 and now very important move to simplify the game queen to d4 trying to uh, get the queens off the board then in one moment we can grab all of this pawn so queen to c7 queen takes b4 uh, the game is over here for black we have now king uh, queen to h2 king to e3 again a uh, couple perpetuals here stockfish regrouping here first again protecting all of this uh, squares that uh, can be taken by black and with which of course uh, black can deliver some check uh, checks here after move a3 rook to e8 and after a2 uh, queen takes a2 here in this position uh, ruby chess resigned so really great game uh, really wild stuff in the in the kumok variation of uh, of the nimzo indian it was i think uh, something that you have to really study hard if you want to try this at home because staying with the king in the center for so long is really a suicide idea in chess uh it's something that you should not do that i never really would recommend to you but as i said uh, if you want to maybe find a good way how to beat the nimzo indian maybe try out the Kmok variation maybe go into these lines because these are direct lines you reach many times the same position but it's a risky way you see stockfish had to find really some great opportunities how to regroup how to activate the pieces how to uh, protect the center how to improve the king's position how to 
get the position uh, get the king on g2 where it cannot be attacked anymore by any pieces so it was a risky choice but i think it was something worth the study so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game like i did it was a brilliant game again by the fish uh, in this very sharp nimzo indian if you want to see more attacking brilliances and sharp games like this check out my commenter chess games played by computer series with some great games played by stockfish alpha zero lila zero and many many more and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course